Hey everybody, it's Diana Durrell Gutierrez, your spiritual mentor and intuitive relationship coach. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you never miss any videos on how to trust and love yourself. So today's Goddess Guidance Oracle message for the month of November, I have pulled four cards. I have no idea what they are. They are laying on my table right here. We are going to be surprised together and I'm in a channel as we go. But first, if you've never seen one of my Goddess Guidance Oracle messages, you want to get a sheet of paper out and a pen because I'm a big believer that this community is super intuitive and you're going to get your own messages from the cards. What it means for you, what it means for your situation. And so I encourage you as you watch this to pause the video after the cards go up and just ask yourself at the top of the paper, what could this mean to me or what stands out in this card? it might mean something later on so let's begin November is all about balance if I were to give you one word to encompass the month it is balance where have you come out of balance in your life where have you been maybe operating on overdrive or not pushing yourself enough there's duality and paradox that comes up and in the United States, we have the election period, and that can bring up all sorts of interesting energies and contradictions and reveals and surprises. But the ultimate question this month is, what is going to bring you into harmony and what is going to bring you into peace with yourself? Anything that arises this month, that's a good question to anchor into. What brings me peace? What brings me harmony? And it may not be about the, the thing or the person or the situation that you think it's about. So with that, let's go ahead and begin. So week one of November, which we're in right now. Ooh, discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. I'm just going to pause. And for those of you that are curious, I'm using Denise Lynn's Sacred Traveler Oracle decks. One of my favorite decks. So if you look at this picture, it's really about journeying. Where have you come from? Where are you going? And you may have to kind of fly solo on a situation. Maybe not everybody agrees with you, right? Like there's a clear, well-worn path up here. And then this dude, which represents all of us, is going a different way. He's not sure, but he's sure that he can't go that way. And so where do you need to allow yourself to find a different way? When it comes to relationships, where can you see things from a different perspective? Where can you be open and curious to new ways of being, new alternatives, instead of staying true to what was um, working before? Because it may not work again, right? In business, same thing. If you're marketing in a certain way and then it's not working are you going to do it again or are you going to mix it up and try something new take a risk <clears throat> and in the second week um, before i pull the card just one date to note is november 14th and 15th we have a beautiful beautiful new moon in scorpio at about 10 p.m Pacific on the 14th and it's going to be the moon's going to be in Scorpio all through the 15th I believe and this is about digging deep so week two if week one was risk-taking and seeing alternative perspectives week two is about going deeper into yourself going deeper into situations and allowing yourself to alchemize, to change the energy around something that's been bothering you for a long time. It's a great week for transformation and for healing. <coughs> Ooh, look at that impasse. This cute little squirrel is like, oh, but I can't go there. It says, reflect and redirect your energy. So again, you in the first week may have chosen one thing and you're like, oh, I'm not sure about it, but I know it's not going to be that way. And then you may hit a wall, and it's so easy when we hit a wall to think we're on the wrong path, or we did it wrong, or everybody's going to laugh at us, or whatever you're telling yourself. But really, it's just an invitation to pause. An invitation to reflect, do I really want this? What's actually important to me? So impasses are not always bad. 
What seems to be a block in week two is actually a blessing. You guys know I'm all about the journal questions here, so I'm going to throw another one at you. What do I feel is blocking me, and how can I see this as a blessing? And then we come to week three. Wise leader, you are a beacon for others when it comes to relationships. You may have to be the bigger person, right? You may have to say, you know what? I need to put my ego aside and really just step into a bigger version of myself. Where can you step away from right and wrong, black and white, and go into that space of truth, authenticity, what's best for the whole, not necessarily just for you. And I also feel like in week three, there's something about holding a torch to what matters, right? So your passions may be reignited. You may feel more opinionated about certain things and you may feel more sensitive. And part of being a leader of your life is about being okay with not everybody being okay with you. So can you be yourself? Can you stand in your own truth and your own fire and passion? And trust that the people that are hanging with you are supposed to hang with you and those that aren't will fall away and it's okay. You can release judgment about that. <coughs> and then we go to week four. Look at that, overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. So it may have felt like a, you know, a month where you were like negotiating a lot within yourself, negotiating energy, masculine, feminine, all of that. But at the end of the day, right? What are you, what are you putting your stake into? What are you grounding into? What do you really believe? I can't help but think the sword and the stone when I see this, even though I know it's a, looks like a, looks like a peach to me too, but I think it is supposed to be a rock. <laughs> and then there's this cute little bird on the side. So it doesn't all have to be so heavy. Where do you need to be light at the end of the month and really bring some humor, inject some play and joy into your life? If you can do all of that, because we're going to end with Thanksgiving in the States. And also right after this fourth week, we have a beautiful full moon in, I think it's in Gemini. And that one is, is about culmination. It's about saying, you know what? We tried a lot of things this month. We came into balance and really led with peace. And anything that appeared to be in our way, it's like, no, it was just a gift. It's going to be a great way to close out the year. So just summarizing, let me pull up the cards again. The theme of the month is balance. Follow your own path. As you do, you may hit some what appears to be roadblocks, but any blocks are blessings. So just notice, take the time to relax and breathe. Go with your passions, go with what's best for the whole, not just for you, and you'll be fine. And know that you're stronger than you think, and you're going to rock this month. So that's what I have for you. I would love to hear from you what resonated with you, what's going on in your life. I love reading your comments. Again, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. I'll pop in the link. And check out my website at dianadurell.com, and I will send you a free gift to help you raise your confidence. Seven goddess secrets to up your confidence in love now. I love you. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful, beautiful November.